see execute all right it didn't crash very good merge the troops had some losses can move on push the fair capital it is army Welcome back to Herald of War Classic Ultimate, my sub mod for Andai and Nephilim's mod Herald of War. It's based on the December 2014 release that he released. And I'm using my version from, I believe, November, December 2020. Okay. We are laying siege to the fairy capital again. We have two units there, we can't take it immediately. Because we have a cannon, or a tank, or a tank, in the army. We can move up this army too. We need to reinforce it. We have a unit of steam tanks moving up. We don't need uh, civilians to reinforce. We need something better. So I guess we will have to wait on these three units to move up. We'll see. Can't do anything more right now. We need to take this area, their capital. Then they have this area, Natsu. Not the most developed settlement. They have four units there. They might have troops outside too. Then they have this area. Um, Horon Cemetery with three units. I believe this is the more dangerous area. Looks like it on the map. At least we see a city there. And you see a large town here. Yeah, so I think this one is the more dangerous one. At least based on the map here but I don't know so the custom settlement in use for Natsu this area is the same as the one of the capital of this area then this area is using the same settlement as the Huron area as Holde and Huron the village okay so we're done here could um, take the capital we have seen this battle before they have a general here Forfe, the fairies of Tarm, will destroy her. We don't care about fighting it in real time. If they hardly have any troops there anyway. Assistance is futile. Here they have more troops. Okay, we will move in a unit of Palace Watch to this army. Destroy any buildings they can destroy that are naturalistic. Excavate ruins might actually be good to keep. Ancient ruins, naturalistic. can excavate ruins here and get some really good troops. I think we'll do that. But what does it cost? Let's see. A hundred, that's fine. As for moving troops, we have some troops that could move up here and fight that fair army. Enemy army has mostly infantry here. One unit that is a caster. Well, some of the sprites can also fire, I believe. Move up troops there. Okay. We're on soldiers. <coughs> can't be moved this time. All the infantry seem to be able to move there this time. Except the Huron soldiers. Even the cannon will move it there. Okay, so only the Huron soldiers couldn't move. But I don't like that they are out of um, ranged units against the fairies. We could move some ranged units. We need five for an entire army. I 
Actually, we could move the general over there. Then we can move uh, the unit of hand cannoneers. Gunner post, of course. They are effective on the battlefield. A unit of gunners. Twenty-two blue dragoons. All right, this will do. Can attack again. We've already done the movement, so we'll fight this battle. We are stronger in outer resolve, I believe, so we'll save the game here. This will be a shorter episode. We already moved everyone. The only thing remaining is to fight some battles. We could outer resolve it, but these guys are really OP in their stats, in their defensive stats. <coughs> so I prefer fighting it on the battlefield. We still have a 2 1 advantage. We will have more losses otherwise. Let's fight the battle on the battle map. That means we'll need to end the episode at the end of the battle. Sadly, it will be very short. Because it might crash otherwise and then we'll lose the fi final five minutes. So I have no choice. Start deployment. Oh, the tool is not on. Let's post it would see <coughs> it would seem the tool was on but uh, I had had it on for too long so it had bugged out. The game didn't think it was on anymore. I just tried to shut it off. Okay. Let's see here we will place these gunner posts in loose formation. Oh we lost almost all of them. Okay. In front of them we will have the Tuke Guard mode I think all the Tuke could be here Guard mode Now they are well defended. And then we'll place the hand cannoneers behind them. Loose formation might be good. The gunner unit could also be placed here. Alright. And then we'll place Goons on the side. Had another Tuki unit here. Place it there. And then we will let these guys attack actually. They are expandable. Formation with the cannon will enable special ability to fire, fire normal arrow, uh, ammo. Place the cannon front here. No, we don't want that. We place it at the side. Fire it wheel on. Okay. Blue Dragoons could be in loose formation. Could also be in that army. Alright, done. And the general's body got removed here. Alright, we're done. Now you just need to start the tool. See you soon. I will pause the game. It worked. Perfect. And we can start the battle. 
Oops, I forgot one thing. You need to place this in AI control. And now we can start the battle. We just need to find the enemy army. So we are attacking. They started far away. Not good. I will just order this army to attack. So they are not attacking. They might have no choice but to move or to okay. Yeah, I will not have them in guard mode. We'll let them move together with the rest of the army. Then with the gunners, the cannon. Looks like we won't have any use of the gunner post in this battle. So it will be left where it starts. Can't move. We need to move everyone to where the enemy is. If they had been attacking we would have been able to defend very well, but we are the ones attacking so we need to move. Now we are a male general again. Even though it's the same guy we controlled previously. The one with that horn. Could move the general's bodyguard here. They have some pioneers, maybe it's the cannon crew, yeah. Here's the bodyguard. Then move all the way over here. And we'll take a look at the army. We can have normal speed on. Gunners are moving. Enemies just standing over here. Some of the troops are hidden, I'm pretty sure. I will move everyone into the same army. stand up stuck here. I think we'll move out to the Tukai, this army. Actually the Tukai are better because they do not break. We'll charge with other troops. Okay, home guards. Attack their humanoid manifest. Our hand cannoneers. And then we can attack with the cannon too. And the gunners. They have more than one unit here. That we can click on. No. Most of their units are hidden. The woods the forest. We have one large unit of humanoid manifest that couldn't hide. They were strays, they started to move, that's why they are visible. They are like tanks. Very good defense, very bad attack. We move the gunners and the hand cannoneers to take out the humanoid manifest. Okay, this cavalry unit 
could also harass their troops. We'll attack with it here. Yeah. AI controlled. It's okay. Ah, uh, we are almost at the location. Yeah, I ordered one of the home guards to attack. Uh, the home guard unit. Start to fire, you don't need to move anymore. Attack those guys instead. So these guys, this, the pixies, they can also fire. Dragoons. All right, good. Uh, the infantry. They need to attack their infantry, I believe. Should attack their strays. Units two, the Knights of Ambi. Palace Watch. Okay. The general is over here. Far away from the troops. We don't really need him in the battle. Too far away. and kill 19% of the enemy. Okay. They didn't have that many troops. It's good that we are taking out their armies outside of the capital. We don't want them to retake it again. We have to start all over again. Taking back the cap and all that. We want to cut at least one more area from the fairies. They can't. We take the settlement again. 
don't take the wooden cemetery. And the fairies. Of course the home guards are prettiest troops here. So we want to sacrifice. Tokyo are better because they never rout. So I, I could use Tokyo troops to defend the gunners and such. General's bodyguard too. We need to run after the bodyguard. Many we killed 49% and we lost 11%. 50% have been killed of the enemy. Time 54% of the enemy, 12% of the allies, 56%, percent <coughs> Yeah, so these troops have like Russian style, but uh, the blue and yellow. It's probably inspired by Ukraine, because the the mod release that I made a sub mod out of was from 2014. So the mod is set in the Zelda universe, the Legend of Zelda universe. But <coughs> yeah, I believe this faction was inspired by the Ukrainians, because it's uh, like a Russian-styled faction with uh, blue and yellow colors or blue and gold in this case look a bit like Nazis, but at the same time like Russians. The so Ukrainians probably make sense. Alright. They were confused previously. I thought they were a mix between Germans and Russians and Swedes, but now I think they are Ukrainians actually, or inspired by Ukrainians in their style at least. And colors. Alright. Because <coughs> in 2014 I believe that's when Crimea was annexed by Russia. So makes sense. That's when the revolution happened in Ukraine. And uh, I believe the ones that own that revolution were seen as Nazis. So that's why <coughs> the look of these guys are probably a mix between Russians, Nazis, and Ukrainians. Yeah. So reach the frontier, the gunners. But I don't know where the infantry is, they are further away. Seem to be running away. We'll order our bodyguard to move there and follow them.
here we have some dead strays and two k and other stuff dead troops including a blue bear a few of them actually clearly had some losses in the battle Here we can see the infantry of the army. Took the infantry and home guards and such. Yeah, Knights of Ambi. There we have the Blue Dragoon cavalry. battle. Nice. General Tukalon Alf of Lebrina had 2130 men, Lebrinians, lost 224, men remaining 1996, and we killed 526 then we took 86 prisoners. Captain uh, Hasalorfe Captain Hasalorfe of the Fairies of Torm had 995 men of Fairies, lost 613, have 382 remaining. Killed 204 of our troops and took 15 prisoners, I believe. Okay, the details. Here we can see the details. A unit of hand cannoneers killed 105. And a uh, unit of cannon fodders killed 67. Okay. Uh, so thank you for watching. We need to end the video here. Bye.